One of the issues we always deal with, we have forever, when we start talking about wintry events, is we talk about them a little farther down the road. And that's to give everybody a chance to get prepared. We have to make some arrangements in case we start to see some snow and ice. So while we are talking about the chance of a winter storm moving through the region, and I believe it's a pretty good chance, it's still more than 24 hours away. No need for panic yet. If you've got some arrangements you need to make, plenty of time. And between here and the start of the wintry precipitation, mild to even warm for the season kind of conditions going to stick around. The chance for rain will go up later tonight and tomorrow. But if you're headed out the door here this evening, 55 right now in Mount Vernon, 56 in Marion, 58 in Paducah and Murray. Poplar Bluff reporting 53 in Marion at the junior high, 56 degrees. Dew point the same has been now for three days. We've been living in the clouds for three days. Fog around, a little bit of drizzle here and there, showing a light wind currently, less than five. But we expect the winds to blow around 10 to even 15 miles an hour throughout the night. So it will be gusty. You can see the live updates coming in there, uh, picking up just a little bit. The big gust so far at the junior high. 22 miles an hour. Satellite imagery does show clouds increasing, but more importantly to me is the south flow. More warm, humid air pushing in. Remember just a couple of weeks ago we were talking about it's not necessarily the cold air that was keeping us from seeing the snow, but it was the dry air. Dry air is no longer an issue. Dew points into the 50s. Now there is plenty of humidity out there for any cold air to work with when it comes in. We can see where the lead edge of that cold air is still a long ways away, and that's why we're talking about an event that we think we'll start to see the switch over tomorrow night. And probably even later than 24 hours from now, I think the real switch over for most of us in southern Illinois and parts of southeast Missouri after 9 o'clock tomorrow night. So you may even have tomorrow evening to take care of some of those last minute errands. Skycast, we put it into motion. The chance for rain and possibly some heavy rain tomorrow during the midday into the afternoon and early evening. But by the time we get to midnight and we put 2 o'clock in the morning up for Friday morning, starting to see that switch over all across southern Illinois, southeast Missouri, will be latest to get to western Kentucky. Western Kentucky closer to the low. More humidity around, more warm air running over the top of the cold. I think we'll see the biggest impacts locally from this winter storm in western Kentucky. More freezing rain and potentially more snow.